Hey everyone, welcome back to CK Cycles. Well, this is episode two of the Tours Delete on a 2005 uh, Yamaha Banshee. Uh, at this point, I have the carburetors rebuilt and I also have the uh, idle screws installed. Um, in this episode, what I would like to do is to get my idle screws set and locked into position. And I would also like to uh, get the carburetor synchronized and uh, reinstalled on the uh, quad and see about um, uh, test running the quad. Um, I thought I would show this to you first. When it comes to synchronization of the carburetor, each of the floats have a, a drilled out a divot here. And the floats are different depending on the left carburetor and the uh, right carburetor. And those divots will appear in these small uh, windows right here, which is used for synchronization. I just wanted to show you that real quick here um, before I get the uh, floats installed, because the first thing I'm going to do is set the idle. So we'll get back to those here later in the episode, uh, but I just wanted to show that to you before I slid before I slid this in. First thing that I am going to do is to set the uh, an initial idle position on the carburetors. Uh, since these carbs stock did not come with uh, idle screws you know I don't I don't think there's probably any specification in the manual for what the initial idle position should be I'm gonna use I think this is a 332 drill bit and just place this drill bit between the slide and the carb body here I'm not sure if you folks can see that or not just as an initial opening setting for the slide. There'll have to be some adjustment, I would assume, uh, but at least the, the two will be set similarly. And I'm not sure if this is gonna to be too big or too small. Okay, that feels good. There's just a little resistance there and I'm going to lock this idle screw down Okay, so those are similarly set. I'm also just going to put a dot here at the top of the screws. Just to signify at this position, they were both set the same. This may rub off at some point, but it may help me with initial setting the carburetors initially. Okay, let's talk about synchronization. So I believe carb synchronization works like this. Once the um, carburetors are, are mounted back onto the quad, I'll hook the throttle cable up. And what I will do is I will open the, the throttle cable. I'll have, I'll have my tops oh, out just a little bit here. Uh, make sure my cables are snug and everything. Um, but what I will do is I will open my throttle cable until that uh, marker that is on the slide appears in the uh, right carburetor's window. Let's see if I can show you that. It's right there. I'm hoping you can see that. It's right there. There it's in the window. 
out of the window, in the window. In the, there it is, right there. And what I will do is I will hold the throttle in that position, and I will take a look at where if, if, the, if the marker on the left slide is also in the window. There it is right there. I'm not sure if you're able to see that or not. If the um, marker on the left carburetor is not in the window, then I will use the cable adjuster here at the top to tighten or slacken that slide so that the marker will appear in the window. So essentially we will want both slide markers in their respective windows when the throttle is in a given position and that will be synchronization. I'm not sure how easily I'll be able to show that once these are back on the four-wheeler it's, it's really kind of uh, a tight position and the fuel delivery line here, you know, obstructs and covers the left carburetor window. It's just kind of a, uh, a difficult thing to see and maybe to show, but I'll get my camera set up and we'll give it a try. Okay, so I have the carburetors back on and the synchronization is looking pretty good. I've had to make a little bit more adjustment. The left carburetor was pretty snug. Uh, so not much adjustment here. I actually had to do the right carburetor to bring things in alignment. But both indicators hit the window at the same time. And when I close the throttle, Both sound like they are stopping on the uh, idle screws. So I think we're good to get the fuel tank back on and to see about uh, giving this thing a kick. Key on run position. All right. Well, let's see if it'll start. Give it a little throttle. for a minute. I don't want these idle screws coming loose and losing one to vibrate right out of the carburetor. Half choke. So I think I'm going to uh, loosen the idle screws about half a turn. I think it was idling pretty high. And it kind of felt like it was fuel starved. 
there towards the end. Okay. See if we can get it started again. I think it's running real lean. Real lean. This does not have its stock jets in it, so I'm not sure what it's going to take to get this thing uh, in tune. Okay. Actually, that's leaning it out more. I need to turn them in a half a turn. Because that's an air screw, not a fuel screw. Okay. And I think I'm going to uh, unscrew the idle screws another half a turn. Get them slide. Get the slides to close. Real lean. Feels real lean. Fuel starved. It's almost like a runaway there for a second, you know. I think I have the idle screws getting close. I'm going to leave those alone, but mixture screws going in a quarter turn, another quarter turn. See if we can richen it up a little bit. So I have fuel pouring out of the right carburetor through the drain hose. Oh, it's just pouring out. I think it's flooding. The screw is tight. That could be my issue.
Come on, float. Carb's got to come off that right, right uh, carburetor's not shutting the fuel off, so something in the float, I guess.